Hi guys and dolls, welcome back. I am so excited to bring you guys today's video. This is my very first 30 days of Gwenny Bee video. Last month I introduced this challenge and explained to you guys that every month I was going to be showing you guys everything I rented from Gwenny Bee. And some of you actually joined in with this challenge and I don't think I made it explicitly clear in the first video, but I would love it for you guys to join in. So I created a hashtag, it's VOTXGB30. If you use that hashtag, I will actually be able to find your post. So I first want to just start out this video by giving a shout out to everyone who joined in so it was like amazing for me to like click on this and see your guys's posts um i want to give a quick shout out to through thick and thin she's on the smaller end of the spectrum and i loved seeing that because uh, gwenny b goes all the way down to size 10 so it's really great for those girls who are sort of in between like regular size and plus size it's awesome especially since like if your weight fluctuates or anything you're always going to be able to find something that works for you so she shared quite a few photos oh my god where's my favorite this one <sighs> Love it. Thank you. Oh my god, this is such a beautiful shot. I also want to give a shout out to Kjoy Low 24. She actually rented the same like speckled dress that I got to rent, which is so cool. We're like we're like dress sisters. I also want to say a thank you to Crushings89. This is a beautiful dress that you rented. It looks so good on you. It made me a little bit jealous. And I immediately closeted it because I was like, oh my god, that dress is so beautiful. So I am so thankful to everyone who joined in. I also had someone who shared something on Twitter. In fact, I feel like there was more than one thing, but I can't find them all. Um, um, this is from Karen Townsend. She shared a little photo set of all of the things that she rented from Gwenny B. It was awesome to see you guys actually trying the service out and falling in love with it. So if you would also like to join in on this challenge, signing up for Gwenny B is free. You get the first 30 days free so you can try it out. Of course you will love it. Um, so you can go ahead and click my link in the description bar down below to go ahead and sign up and then use the hashtag VOTXGB30 to share your looks with me and that way I can feature you guys every month. I'm so excited. With my Gwenny B membership I have the five items at a time membership so I'm able to kind of hold some stuff back if I want like in, in one instance I actually held one thing back for a couple of extra days because I wanted to take it with me to LA and we'll get to that when we get to it um, but I'm always able to kind of always have something new which is really awesome I think that the five item at a time is the best happy medium because if you find something you really love but you're not sure if you want to buy it yet you can kind of hold on to it and you can still trade back four items so that's just my personal preference for the membership so now I want to run through the items I was able to rent. I'm not going to tell you how many items until we've kind of gone through them all. The first is the Rachel Roy jacket. You guys have already seen this. It was awesome. I paired it with a black dress from Universal Standard. Love it. So beautiful. The next piece is the Gabby Sky dress, which kind of gives me a Kate Spade vibe. And since Kate Spade doesn't make plus size clothes, I was stoked to be, to be able to kind of like try on that preppy style. Preppy is not like my everyday modest operandi. It's, sometimes it's fun to mix it up and try a different style. The next piece is the gorgeous Effie's Heart dress. I love renting from Effie's Heart. They're super comfortable cotton dresses with pockets. The length is just great on this. Love the color. Everything about this was like super cute, super comfy. And I was excited to see someone else actually rent this and share it with my hashtag. So thank you so much. It was so cool to see that. The next dress is from Julian Taylor. This one runs a little bit big in my opinion. It was just way too big for me in like the shoulder area and way too big in the waist, but I love the color layout of this. I love the hot pink juxtaposed with the black and white. The print is gorgeous and I, I know they also do this in a blue. I would love to see this in more colors and I just need to remind myself to size down in this brand. The next piece is this American rag top. It's super cute and bohemian. Paired that with a pair of jeggings. I think this would have been even cuter with flare jeans, but I don't own any flare jeans. Maybe I should try to rent some. Um, and then a cute pair of Birkenstocks. I love Birkenstocks. Super comfy. Great little like midsummer outfit. Next piece is also from American Rag and I love this dress. I was super, super close to like pulling the trigger and actually purchasing it, but it was about four inches too short. Um, it's beautiful and very comfortable and in the fall time this would be great to wear the pair of leggings, but this was so short I even, I couldn't even wear like any shorts under it to kind of like prevent chub rub or anything. And um, you know, the whole thing about that is mama's got a big booty. And so it was a bend over hazard to wear this. So I'm going to have to pass on purchasing it, but it was still really fun to wear. I did wear it out. Um, and I was just a little self-conscious about my butt the whole time, but, oh, but, <laughs> but I'm bumped. 
So this next outfit is a three fur. This is the Johnny Waz jacket. Loved this. Was really close to buying it, but it was just a little more expensive than what I wanted to spend. It was about $221 to buy this. And I probably would have been more interested in purchasing it if it had been made out of like something like silk. Um, but it was made out of rayon and I just couldn't bring myself to spend that much on a rayon item, even though the fabric did feel kind of amazing. Um, it was very luxurious. And I did take this with me to LA. So I did hold this back for a couple of days. So I almost wonder if I could have rented more items if I hadn't held on to this for so long. The tank top that I'm wearing that is a peplum top from City Chic. I love City Chic. They're one of my favorite brands to rent from Gwenny B. And then the jeans that I'm wearing are from Melissa McCarthy. These ones don't fit me all that great, um, but you know, not everything's a winner. And it was great to wear a pair of jeans, not have to wash them and send them back. I'm a really big fan of not having to do as much laundry when I have my Gwenny B rentals. This next piece is from Kiona and this dress is like sex on a stick. It's a true wrap style dress. So you do actually have to like pull it through. Um, and I gotta tell you guys, I'm a little self-conscious about my boobs sometimes. I just like, I don't know, I don't wear like low cut stuff very often, but in this dress, I felt very, very sexy. And I kind of want to introduce the idea of wearing some more like low cut things into my wardrobe, but I get a little self-conscious about it. And I think it's because like, I remember being 18 and having like wildly inappropriately older men stare at my chest and it just made me really really uncomfortable but now I'm a 32 year old woman and it's like go ahead and take a look they're sexy as hell like my attitude about my body is starting to change a little bit and you know that's that's all part of like body positivity and and embracing our bodies and um kind of stopping the body policing because I've been you know policing my own body. This next piece is the dress that I'm wearing now from Donna Rico. It is a bright fuchsia hot pink. It is so much fun to wear. I got so many compliments on this dress. It was just, it was just insane like how many people were like oh my god I love your dress. So this next piece is from Universal Standard which I have previously mentioned in this video. Love this brand. It's a good like super high quality plus size basics brand. This top is interesting because it's a dress shirt but it has a really high hemline on the sides. It's like super extreme extremely curved and it doesn't it doesn't butt down all the way so it doesn't have the gapping at the bust and it works really well for tying up the waist so I bought this item it was $31 I thought it was a really good deal on it and uh this is going to go so good with like my like long maxi skirts or with my um my pants from Pinup Girl Clothing, my Doris pants, those really cool like 1940s style trousers that I have. So I thought that this would work in my wardrobe in so many different ways. So I decided to pull the trigger and purchase it. This next piece is a jumpsuit. And I, you guys, I was kind of nervous about renting a jumpsuit and trying a jumpsuit, but I put it to like a challenge to myself to actually try to rent a, a jumpsuit. So I prioritized a ton of them. And I'm like, if I prioritize like a whole bunch of jumpsuits, they've got to send me something. So this is the one they sent me. It's from a brand called Jeté. I liked that this one was a little bit different because the bottom is made of a navy of a navy color and the top is black. So it gives you a little bit of like a breakup in it. And this was super comfortable. You can see me wearing it here. I went grocery shopping after this and, and kind of like peddled around in it all day and then I wore it again that weekend I kind of jazzed it up with some jewelry and wore it out to dinner with friends and it was super comfortable so I am now a jumpsuit convert I was really kind of apprehensive about it because I had tried jumpsuits before and they did not work for me so I kind of wrote them off as something that I couldn't wear and now I'm like holy crap how have I been missing out on jumpsuits this whole time I want all the jumpsuits now also, shout out to my sequin covered fanny pack. It's super fabulous. Let me know if you guys want to see a video all about fanny packs. So this next piece is something that did not work out for me like at all. So this is a dress from a brand I've, I've rented before. Actually, this exact dress. This is the Isabelle and Alice dress. Um, and I rented it last fall and I loved it. It was like one of my favorite things I've ever rented. A beautiful bodycon, just really like comfortable, lightweight dress. This version of it just didn't work and they've actually pulled it from the site so that kind of goes to show me like this this is a company that's looking out for their customer because you can read the reviews they're not good for this dress um and so it's actually really like good to see that this company is like hey you know what this didn't work we're pulling it no big deal um and so I really appreciate that they listen to customer feedback. So then my final outfit is a tank top from Torrid and this great skirt from Juna Rose. Juna Rose is a company I've had really good luck with renting from Gwenny B, especially like bottoms. I've rented some super cute shorts from them. So I wanted to give them a whirl with a skirt. And this skirt is awesome. It's made out of a French terry material. So it's really like comfy. It's basically like wearing a, a skirt made out of like sweatpants, but it has that cool distressing on it. So it actually looks like distressed denim and it has pockets. 
yeah, I kind of had to have it. So I bought this one. I was super excited. I went on the Gwenny B site right away after I tried it on. I was like, this is comfortable and it's cute. I'm buying it. Um, and it was only 20 bucks. So that was pretty awesome, a really great deal. Um, and so we have the final tally. I rented 15 items in 30 days. That means every other day, basically, I had something new to wear, which is just freaking awesome. It also breaks down to about $9.26 per item, which again is an incredible steal. It means that like, I mean, if I had actually gone out and bought all this stuff, it would have been over $1,000. It would have just been like, crazy amounts of money and a lot of these things are high-end brands like Kiona, Johnny Waz, um, Dada Rico, like a lot of these like Julian Taylor, these are expensive brands. To be able to like rent them for $9.26 an item is kind of amazing. So that is my 30 days of Gwenny Bee video. I am so thrilled with how this turned out. I am so excited to feature you guys. So again, if you'd like to be featured, make sure that you sign up for Gwenny Bee. I'll have the link in the description bar down below and then share your looks with me with VOTXGB30. If you're an existing member, I want to see your looks. I want to see what you're renting. I already got some cool ideas of what the closet based on what you guys rented. It was so cool to see like different body types and stuff because that's the thing plus size is a huge size range they cover sizes 10 through 32 so you've got your in-betweeners and you have your higher end of the plus size scale and I think it's amazing that we can kind of all come together and create this community for ourselves and that's what I'm trying to do with this feature you guys show you guys what I wear and that's it thank you guys so much for watching I will see you in my next video remember to be vintage or tacky just be your own kind of beautiful see you bye